The next day is raining. The team returns to the site. Yesterday, the team went in. We laid a baseline. We were getting some sense of how big the ship is. Today, we're going to go in. We're going to take a more detailed look. We're looking for some specific features on this wreck that will help us identify just what it is or what it isn't. And that's rather critical because you have to go through this chain of evidence piece by piece methodically like it's a lab experiment in order to identify a ship on the bottom. With this second dive, the team hopes to add to the archaeological data gathered during Mike's initial survey of the wreck. Dropping down to the wreck, it was clear that we were looking at a large wooden vessel that had been fitted with propellers. Measuring the strut which supported the propellers, I was struck by the fact that these were rather small. This was not a ship that depended upon the propeller as the central means of propulsion. The evidence suggested that we were looking at an auxiliary schooner, a ship that used engines only as an assist. Swimming along the side of the hull, we mapped and measured in the location of the chain plates. Chain plates are a big, flat strap of iron bolted to the side of a ship that support the stays or the rigging that holds a mast in place. The number of chain plates on the side of a hull tells you how many masts a ship had. And the way the chain plates are spaced one after the other shows you how many stays there were and what kind of lines connected to the mast. And that tells you what type of rig. Looking at the wreck on the bottom, we found five chain plates. And the way they were spaced indicated that we were on a schooner. Everything we saw on the bottom matched up exactly with what we knew about Malahan. We also found fuel tanks on the bottom. The tanks and the struts were large things that would not have been stripped out. But there was evidence that the vessel had been stripped just the same. We couldn't find much in the way of artifacts. The only artifact that hinted at any human activity aboard the ship was a lone remnant, a cup that we found on the bottom. It would have been great to have found some bottles of whiskey or some other evidence of her days on Rum Row that had been hidden in the bilges only to be forgotten and then survive the years as a logging barge and as a wreck. But the only evidence of drinking we found was this cup. <laughs> 